Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Welcome to the Civic Hall of Wolverhampton where tonight I will presently be performing the ceremony that has never voluntarily been performed in this country. And the ceremony, of course, that you've all been waiting for is that of the unmasking of the superstar himself, Kendo Nagasaki. <laughs> who is tonight accompanied by two acolytes, two followers of the inner circle of Nagasaki who wear their hairs like this because of their closeness to the person of Nagasaki himself. And I should add that it is expressly forbidden by the close followers of Nagasaki for anyone else to wear this particular hairstyle. I would also like to say that many times in the last few months it has been mentioned, it has been said, it has been rumored that Nagasaki has in fact been injured. All I would like to say to that is that that is completely untrue, that he has never been injured. All those statements attributed to people have been false. And that Kendo, Kendo has been in a secret retreat, a retreat of meditation, where he has been learning to build up his powers, his powers not only in wrestling, but his powers to help heal other people and to do many other things. And tonight, this is the ultimate fulfillment of all those dreams, the unveiling and the unmasking of Kendo Nagasaki. Thank you. And so, after 15 years behind the mask and many wrestlers' attempts to reveal his face, Kendo Nagasaki was to be unveiled. The ceremony required Nagasaki's manager, George Dillette, to throw salt over the wrestler. And when that was finished, Kendo was officially unmasked. To the stunned audience at Wolverhampton and to the millions watching on television. 